Today we're doing the beefiest sandwich of them all. Slow cooked to juicy, tender perfection. Oh, and can we talk Oh, Oh, man, I, I got to tell you, yeah, yeah, even though this isn't a French sandwich, but okay, let's get going. So we've got a large skillet. We're going to sear this. Uh, we've got a chuck roast here that we have. Here, let me help. Okay, thanks. Let me help you with this I've got giant two, thing. I know, I, I've got two chuck roasts here. You want to do about three pounds. Um, I, the market that I was at only had kind of small ones, so I got two, about one and a half pounds each. Uh, three is going to make nice six uh, big good old sandwiches for you. Yeah. Um, and what we did was Wesley liberally salted and peppered them. I got two tablespoons of olive oil heated up. We're just sort of locking in that flavor before we transfer it to the slow cooker with yeah. the other goodness. And so, we're, yeah, the other goodness that he's talking about is this, which which eventually becomes the becomes au jus. Au jus. So I've got two uh, two cups of good quality beef stock. Make sure it's good quality, that's important. <laughs> I've got two tablespoons. No. Oh no, this is a quarter cup of soy sauce. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then two tablespoons. I beg to dip. Of uh, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Two, two tablespoons. Then we've got a little, uh, we're going to make it a little French <laughs> since it's called a French dip. <laughs> And this is a teaspoon of herbs de Provence. <laughs> yes. And they're from France, from our friend Sharon. Thanks, Sharon. And then I, a little pinch of salt. Yeah. So oh, if you don't have herbs de Provence, hi. you can use a just dried thyme. That's usually what I use. <laughs> What's like, well, we've got to do something that's French. This is actually not even a French <laughs> no, sandwich. No, it's not. I think they call it a French dip because it's often it's used to French. French bread. French bread. Yes. Um, but, oh, well, hello, Flo. I know. Flo's she smells meat. Rounds. She smells meat. Okay. So now this is good. I've got this on a nice hot skillet. I'll let this go. You want to get it kind of nice and. Just a nice brown. Um, uh, you're not obviously cooking this. Uh, you're just sort of locking in those flavors. And uh, this is going to go for probably another couple minutes. And then we put it in the slow cooker and we forget about it. <laughs> okay, we've got one of our favorite things in the world, our slow cooker. And I have one of the favorite <laughs> things in the world in front of me, meat. So we're happy. I mean, we are happy. So you see, after about two minutes, depending on the, the hotness of your uh, pan, uh, you turned it over. You just want it nicely kind of browned. Okay, yeah. so now before you add that into here, I've yeah. got one cup of chopped onion. I also wanted to say, if you really crunched for time, go ahead, place that right. What about the garlic? I'll do that. I'm going to do that okay. on top. All right. um, you don't have to sear the meat. It just kind of helps lock in the flavor. Um, but if you just do not have the time, you could put the meat in there. Un oh, yeah, sear it, baby, guess, sear it. Yeah. Okay, so now I've got two cloves of garlic that are minced. And I'm just going to put that on top. And um, all of this is going to, okay, now. You oh, yeah. pour that in while I oh, yeah. look, look to see if I can get this thing going. Yeah, we do, we're doing it backwards. So <laughs> we're going to cook this. Um, on low. On low. Mm -hmm. For, uh, you can do it anywhere from nine to 10 hours. We want, we, we want this super tender. We absolutely want this tender. But we, we don't want it like literally where it's like, sh it's going to be a little bit shreddable, but you don't want it to be like it's, pulled pork, you know, where you just completely, <laughs> you want there to be, you kind of would like to be able to slice it a little bit. So in other words, what I'm saying is we're going to let it go for nine hours on, I know. Don't yeah. lock those in. <laughs> yeah. And if you happen to have one of these, this is a crock pot that has these, this is just for traveling purposes. Yeah. Don't do ever, not do while that. you're cooking, don't ever do that because you may have a, an exploded. Yeah. Uh, and people roast. will yell at you if you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to let this, this go for nine hours. I, it, um, it's morning time, so I guess we're going to go do some shopping, walk the dogs, <laughs> and then come back and have the best sandwiches in the world. <laughs> oh, the anticipation, the smell. Nine hours the I've been smell. waiting for this. I know. So I know you have, and me too. So let's do the big reveal. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at I mean, that. We are gonna, this is going to be super tender. It may be a little fall apart-ish, but, you know, I can think of worse things than I, that. Um, it's been, I don't care. I know. <laughs> it's been on warm. Now, this is always um, a challenge. There's so. two of them in there. I know. I, I remember that. Yes. Oh, yeah. That is a look at that. Wow. Okay. Bring okay. it on in here. There we go. Now that's gonna make um I think that's wow. gonna make a decent sandwich. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> this one is, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, there, there's yours. And here comes mine. <gasps> 
That's awesome. That is so, so awesome. So like if we had let this go from 10 to 12 hours, which I love doing, it would have been like, Completely shreddable and fall apart, oh, which is which is okay. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Um, but I like to be able to slice it. We both like to do that. Oh. So now we are going to strain this, and it's yes. going to be our incredible au jus. All right, I'm and if I can do this without creating a disaster, it. okay. it's you hard to it? do it with these gloves. Okay, there, there go. we go. All right, hold on. It's it, again. It's great if you can have a, a, a loon yes, to help you out. Yes, you need a loon. We all need a loon. Okay, there you go, Chris. Hold on. Here we go. I'll do this without dropping it. You got it. Yeah, grab it from there. There you go. There we go. <gasps> People, that is gold. That is that is the stuff right Here there. You go, Chris. Shove it right back in there. Okay. Okay. So now we need to let. Look at Woo! that. This is make sure you do this in a heat, heat proof, proof bowl. Um, something that's you know like Pyrex. Or I'm so excited. I am too. So we're gonna let these sit for. I know. I mean, I'm. Uh, rah, rah, rah. We're gonna let these sit for about ten minutes. Let ten minutes. Let those juices just kind of settle back into the meat. Then we slice them. We toast our buns. We get cheesy and we eat. <laughs> We're oh, so close. We're getting so close. We're very, I know, I know. very close. So you start slicing them. Yes, look go. at this. Let it see all those juices. Mm. They, they kind of. I just yeah. need to eat this now. I know. I know. Okay. The smell is uh, just. And incredible. this is fall apart. Yeah, melt. It's like oh. it's like butter. Yeah. So now we've got we we're just going with some some soft hoagie buns. I mean. I, we've done this on different types of buns. I, like Italian bu buns are delicious, but they have a little more bite to them. Traditionally, they're done with a pretty soft bun. Um, so, and like a baguette, you'd think French, um, but th those have a little more of a bite to them. So, you know, you go with whatever you like, but we like the hoagie buns. Yeah, so and we're only my, making two. We're making two. We're gonna two. save the this, rest of yeah, this. Yeah, this makes enough for at least six, uh, depending on how stuffed you make them. Well, so I I'm think that's put, a good for enough for one sandwich, That yeah. looks great, Wesley. So right. I'm gonna put that, I've got my broiler on. I've got my rack about six inches below the heating element, element, and we just want to lightly toast those. Now, while you're continuing to do that, yeah. I've got this. Now, if you, I, I mentioned to Wesley, I said, you know, there is some fat in there, and you could get out your fat separator and uh, no. separate that. That was his response. <laughs> so uh, we got a big no on that. <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could. No. No. That, there's there's flavor in that fat there. <laughs> All right, let me get. This on. So let me while we're while he's Here, doing that, that over there. Um, we do a we often do at the during the holidays a standing prime rib roast. It is knock your socks off good. It's also not the cheapest thing to do. Okay, but, bring that to me, sir. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> but um, make sure everybody. It is incredibly it. good, and let me tell you, the, this is great. Slow cooker is a great way to go. If you can do a standing prime rib roast, and then the next day. Slice you off some of that rib. Right, we right, did right. that. It was like um, uh, mind blowing. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. But this is mind blowing too. I, let's let's not let's not um, make sure everybody can see. Let's not uh, disparage this at all because Woo, it is I am I, I am so tempted to just start nibbling devour. this meat. Okay, so now this is traditionally well, we add some provolone. You don't always have to add cheese, but cheese makes everything better, I think. <sighs> And now we're just going to put this. We're going to get this all nice and melty. Slip it right next our, to our there. buns are getting toasty. We've got our au jus. It's almost time to eat. <laughs> it's time. Toasted buns, people. Toasted buns. We've got oh. perfectly melted. Meat. We got meat. Oh, we got meat. Oh, it's what's for dinner. All yes. right, let me see if I can do this. Come on, bring it right there. I'm just going to put it right. Oh in. yes. Oh, oh yeah. yes. That. There we go. There we go. Here's, oh. a more, here's a little more meat for you. Oh, please. <laughs> Isn't that phenomenal? Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, perfect, Chris. Yeah. There's a little more meat. I know. Always a little more meat. <laughs> Do not let any of that meat go to waste. Oh. oh wow. You could even done a little more cheese if you really thought like it. I think so. <laughs> um, boy. Okay, yeah. Okay. And we got our au jus, au jus. Oh okay, my okay. golly gosh. Okay, okay, I gotta bring my au jus up so everybody can see me dipping. Okay. This is my favorite part of this sandwich. You guys, here's a good dip. I'm trying to let everybody see it. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I know. so excited. I know, I am too. All right, ready? Let's go. Oh, mmm. 
Oh! <laughs> yeah. If there was ever a sandwich that had Wesley's name written all over it, and mine, I am. Uh, they're messy, too. And that's what I love. That's about. what you. Mm. Guys, Guys, I can't. I can't. I gotta take another bite. I mean, slow cooker, it just, it's so easy. It melts in your mouth. Uh, mm. It makes an au jus. Uh, oh my stars. Mm. <laughs> He's gone to church. Going to meet church. <laughs> wow. That is my favorite sandwich of all time. <laughs> And it, the loon is having a good day. It, it's what? And it's like a million percent loon approved. <laughs> That's a first. It's that oh. good. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know, it's the key to longevity <laughs> is keeping your loved ones yes. happy. Uh, yeah, marriage. A good, a good, a good marriage. <laughs> It, it definitely helps. All right, oh, y'all, make this sandwich. It's easy. You just have to wait easy. nine it hours. It feeds a crowd. It feeds a <laughs> uh, hungry family. And oh, um, plug it in before you go to work. Come plug home it in and feed right. your family. All right, we love you guys. Oh, I'm going to make a <laughs> fool of myself right now. Bye, y'all. Oh, that is just amazing. Mm, that is good.